Hey guys, Vegas Romaniac. Uh, today you're gonna get a first view perspective of what it means to go riding. So here's the deal. I haven't been riding for a while, injured hand, right? So uh, I'm, I'm going out mostly to hang out with my buddies because I can't really ride yet. So, so I'm gonna take my bike, I'm gonna take my trailer. As you can see, everything accumulated everywhere because I haven't been out for a month and uh, you know, when you don't keep up on top of things, they just pile up. So this tank over here, this is, uh, I replaced the stock tank back on the bike. So this is the bigger tank and it just accumulates everywhere and uh, it just couldn't really work. So I'm going to show you the process of what it go through to be able to go riding. So I hope this is not going to be too boring for you and I also hope that I could have fit in the car with a helmet because I'm going to uh, move the car, I have to turn the car around so I could pull the trailer and hook the trailer up so I could uh, load the bike. I can't load the bike to the trailer without being hooked up to the car. It is what it is. So I never tried to get in my car with a helmet. So let's see. I don't really fit. Okay, so the last scene is the one that I got in the car and I was trying to back up. Well, the button of the camera pushed on the ceiling of the car, on the roof, and uh, it turned off. So this is the end result. The car, the car is in the right place. It's a little bit complex. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, one day I'll afford a truck, but until then, this will just have to do. This is my trailer. Very light, very small. Just follows really easy. Sometimes I leave the bike on the trailer. Today I didn't. Uh, safety has to come off. You have to hook up the trailer to the car. Otherwise I can't get the. Um, otherwise I cannot get the the bike on because the trailer is so light in the front it would just pop every time I want to load the bike up. So it actually happened in the previous attempt of doing the video. So safety chains go on. Right. And then this is my light system. So I have to modify it. As you can see, there's an extra wire. This is the typical wire that everybody knows about. I have an extra wire. Why? Because this is a Japanese car, so it has these yellow blinkers. And I had an adapter that didn't really work very well for this Harbor Freight trailer. Let's keep blowing fuses inside my car. I, I, I replaced the, the, the thing and it did exactly the same thing. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to do that anymore. So I ran separate wires and I have two extra lights over there for the blinker. Yellow, done. So that's the electrical system. This is the wheel choke, uh, made to be removed if you want to, but uh, for now it stays there. This are uh, already set in place. This is my fork saver. If you haven't seen one of these, uh, you could buy them for about ten dollars. I'm gonna put a link in the video description. This is the one that I made because I lost mine. I keep losing them. I'm forgetting them on a trailer, and I ride with them. Uh, I drive with them, and they just fall off. So what happened is I made myself two pieces of two by four and a piece of thing gonna save my uh, save my forks this is the ramp that I invented is a piece of wood that I had laying around the house as you can see the entire trailer is made out of crap I wanted to make it out of a metal but uh, I just didn't want to spend any more money on it and it works really well this way and we'll see maybe this summer I'll, I'll be more rich maybe maybe I'll buy the lottery ticket anyway bike uh, goes back I have to align it pretty good because that uh, that ramp is not it's not very, it's very narrow, so it's not wide enough. But uh, basically, this is what's what's supposed to happen. I'm supposed to go up on it and then be able to hook it up to the safety. So, as you can see, I could even stop in between. The trailer is very low because it's so low. There is not much to push on the on the bike. So this goes up. There it is. And I put it on the kickstand. This is a secondary ramp that I have. The only reason that I keep this one in case that one fails, at least I have a secondary ramp with me. First, what I do is I lock this one in place. Okay, uh, loops are already on the trailer, on the bike. I keep the loops on the bike all the time. I know this is a little bit of overkill. The only reason that I have these is because sometimes the motorcycle bounces and it has a tendency to just unhook themselves. Safety first, as you can see I do a lot of redundant things. 
my seals are leaking like a motherfucker on this bike. It's winter and the plastic is very, very, this, this rubber is very, very solid. Anyway, safety goes in. Doesn't take that long to undo that. You just want to make sure that this one lines up properly. There it is. And then all I do is. Oh, made a mistake. Made a little bit of a mistake. Hold on. Fork saver. Keep talking about this fork saver. Forgot to put it in. So, what this one does, it keeps the forks so they don't stay compressed when you're riding. Uh, two things it does. It doesn't let the fork compress, so as you can see, it locks the wheel. And uh, not only that it doesn't put stress on the forks, but also if you go over a beat speed bump or something like that, if the bike bounces a lot, the, if you're just wearing hooks, it has a tendency to let go of the hooks and the bike can fall off. So this way it doesn't move, it's, it's rock solid. So uh, this makes a huge difference. I like that thing. I really like it. Uh, I have like three or four of them I made. So bike is in. This is a redundant system that I built. There's a piece of string over here that goes through this ratchet that I had extra in the house, in the garage. As I said, this is all built of junk. I like to lock the rear wheel on the bike. And this is my RAM. One thing I discovered today is that the license plate is in the way. But the same principle, it goes around and it holds the ramp up and it stabilizes the bike a little bit. This is not the final shape and size of this ramp. It just happened to be a piece of 2x4 that I had laying around. Because I couldn't find a 2x6. Well, I could find one at Home Depot. I just didn't go and get one. So, I hope this is not going to be a problem because this might mess up with my license plate. We'll see. It's a, it's a work in progress, that's for sure. So, my bike is up. Yeah, I know. It's not as easy as a truck. Some people just put it on a truck, load the tailgate, and they're done. Mine's a little bit more work, but believe it or not, this car still does 38 miles a gallon holding this trailer. 38 miles a gallon. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, this car does 42 otherwise. So I know for American roads, or for Europeans, it doesn't sound very much. Uh, I know about Australians, but Europeans, uh, 40 miles a gallon plus their gallons are different. Uh, it's, a, it's a difference, but. For Americans, you know, a car that does 42 miles a gallon and it's nothing fancy, it's no hybrid, no nothing like that. It's a great car and then the fact that it can hold this bike at 38 miles a gallon, that's, that's pretty amazing. So uh, I, ride this, uh, I ride this car with less money that will cost me to haul my bike on my buddy's uh, truck, really, and pay him half of the gas. But uh, yeah, that's how I put the bike on and uh, a couple of things that I have to do, I wanted to put this on the trailer, it never really worked out, there's not enough room, so this one goes in the trunk. Uh, also, the bike is as light as it gets, the LED light is off. Uh, my next episode I'm going to show you, um, I bought a scale, one of those hanging scales, so you can hang stuff to it and it will tell you exactly how much they weigh. Because these are very, very confusing, you don't really know how much they are, but you know when you're riding your bike and you have to muscle it left and right, even by itself, it's, it's some weight that I have to move around. Uh, so if it's not on the bike, it makes a huge difference. So that one is off. The uh, stock tank is off. Um, no, the stock tank is on. This is the uh, uh, bigger tank, my adventure tank. It sits over here for now. I don't really use it that much. I don't really go that far. Uh, all my tires collection is here. So I'm pretty set for now. Unfortunately, because of my injury, I can't really ride. So this bike is going to get off the trailer right now. Just wanted to show you how how this one works. Um, uh, yeah, with the injury, I can't really write, so there's a few videos that came out from me. And uh, this was a beautiful day. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I get something on the channel so you don't forget about me. Thanks for watching. Victor's Romaniacs.